All right, let's say we have this equation, right? x cubed minus 6x squared plus 9x plus 2. It's a nice cubic function with two turning points. However, how do we determine the location of these points? That's right, we can use derivatives. Derivatives essentially tell us the change in rate of a function in relation to its input. It gives us the instantaneous rate at a certain point. You might ask, yo, why do we need to know derivatives to figure out the turning points of the graph? You see, based on our definition of what a derivative is, each point on the function has its relative change in rate. The turning point is where the graph completely changes direction, hence no change in rate, a slope of zero. If we establish that our derivative is equal to zero, we can solve for the x-coordinate accordingly. To find the derivative of our cubic function, I'll just use the power rule. All right, our new equation is 3x squared minus 12x plus nine. We set this equal to zero and solve for x. We can factor our three to get three times x squared minus four x plus three. This is a simple trinomial, so I know that our factors are both one and three. Therefore, the turning points occur at x equals one and x equals three. To solve for the y coordinates, we simply substitute our x values into our original function. So our turning points occur at one, six and three, two.